and the sisters obey the Lord and songs and praise and you may have a song. Sing it tonight. You may have a praise. Give it. You may have a testimony or a message or a word. Then we'll just see what the Lord brings us. Um, I could speak. I have some things in my heart. I never come here without something that's talking to me about it. I've never stood in this place without something the Lord gives me. But I, I prefer my brethren. I love my brethren. And um, I want the brethren to feel welcome. I want them to feel honored of God. I, I always listen intently to any elder, any saint of God. If Sister Amy, she would be considered a little handmaiden of the Lord sitting up here in the front and uh, very quiet at times. But if she gives up on her feet and says something to say, I'm listening. I never let anybody distract me when someone is testifying, someone's ministering. And I give the highest honor to ministers when they're on their feet. I don't want to be bothered. I don't want any distraction. I want to hear what the Lord is giving. These, the white envelopes in the back, we're a family, we're a community. There's a wedding taking place here the 11th of uh, July. That's next week, isn't it? My goodness, getting very close. And uh, uh, Brother Fred and uh, lovely wife, she just came in. They're renewing their church vows, and that is their wedding vows in the church. And uh, we, we're, I thought it would be nice Maybe a dollar you slip in this envelope. There's some white envelopes. As you'll probably open it and find the questionnaires in it. If you haven't filled out your questionnaire, you can. If you have already, just take it out and disregard it. But put in there and mark on it, Brother Fred. That goes in. We had some come in over the weekend. And they're in the office. Do you think you counted them? And we're going to present that as a wedding shower to uh, this man, his wife that loves the Lord, and uh, they're in business out in the mall, and they're struggling. The mall is struggling, and they're struggling. They sold the mall. That's where their business is. And uh, Ron Barber, beauty shop there, and uh, I told Brother Fred I'd come out and let him, uh, let him uh, see what he can do with my hair. And, uh, and he said, oh, you're a prime, prime. I can look at your head and tell. I I can do many things with it. Well, praise God. We will see. But uh, I'm sure he's a good barber. Uh, and uh, so we just, um, I wanted to uh, welcome Brother Zahn uh, And uh, Sunday morning I went over and enjoyed a tremendous anointing there in Sebring. And the Lord just came and helped us. And we had a wonderful Sunday morning in Sebring, and I was very thankful for that. Glad that the Lord was there to help us. Um, and uh, in a minute, I'm going to let you um, the young people go. And Sister, uh, who's, who's taking care of them tonight? Who's taking care of them? Brother Dean. What, well, Dean? My eyes, Dean. I'm glad to know. But I see a blue form back right there. <laughs> and uh, so Brother Dean is here, and Sister Beth. Uh, she, she was anyway. Uh, she was sick over the weekend, uh, but they'll be going out in just a moment. You have plenty of time to get your lesson across, and you young people come back with Christ in your heart, lifted up, encouraged, and enthused about your youth group. Uh, listen to this. I will take about four. I wouldn't estimate any more than five minutes. I don't think it'll take that long, but it's striking. It's titled, The Son, Who Will Take the Son? S-O-N, The Son, Who Will Take the Son? A wealthy man and his son loved to collect rare works of art. They had everything in their collection, from Picasso to Raphael. They would often sit together and admire the great works of art. When the Vietnam conflict broke out, the son went to war. He was courageous and died in battle while rescuing another soldier. The, soul, the father was notified and grieved deeply for his only son. About a month later, just before Christmas, 
There was a knock at the door. A young man stood at the door with a large package in his hands. He said, sir, you don't know me, but I am the soldier for whom your son gave his life. He saved many lives that day, and he was carried into safety when a bullet struck him in the heart, and he died instantly. Um, he often talked about you and your love for art. <clears throat> the young man held out his package. I know this isn't much, for I am not a great artist, but I think your son would have wanted you to have this. The father opened the package. It was a portrait of his son, painted by the young man whose life he saved. He stared in awe at the way the soldier had captured the personality of his son in the painting. The father was so drawn to the eyes of his son in the painting that his own eyes welled up in tears. He thanked the young man and offered to pay him for the picture. Oh no, sir, I could never repay what your son did for me. It is a gift. The father hung the portrait over his mantle. Whenever visitors came to his home, he would show them the portrait before he showed them any of the great works of art that he had collected. The man died a few months later, and there was a great auction of his paintings. Many influential people gathered at the auction, excited over seeing the great paintings and having an opportunity to purchase one or two for their collection. On the platform sat the painting of the sun. The auctioneer pounded his gavel. We will start the bidding with this painting of the sun. Who will bid for this painting? Silence. Then a voice shouted from the back of the room, we want to see the famous paintings. Skip this one. But the auctioneer persisted, will someone bid on this painting? Who will start the bidding? $100, $200. Another voice shouted angrily, we didn't come to see this painting. We came to see the Van Goghs and the Rembrandts. Get on with the real bids, but the auctioneer continued, the sun, the sun, who will take the sun? Finally, a voice came from the very back of the room. It was the longtime gardener of the man and his son. <clears throat> I'll give $10 for the painting. Being a poor man, it was all he could afford. We have $10, who will bid $20, the auctioneer continued. Give it to him for $10 and let's see the masters. $10 is the bid. Won't someone bid 20? The crowd was becoming angry. They didn't want the picture of the sun. They wanted more worthy investments uh, for their collections. The auctioneer pounded the gavel, going once. Going twice, sold for $10. A man in the second row shouted, now let's get on with the collection. The auctioneer laid down his gavel. I'm sorry, the auction is over. What about the other paintings the man yelled out? The auctioneer continued, I'm sorry, when I was called to conduct this auction, I was told of a secret stipulation in the will. I was not allowed to reveal that stipulation until this time. Only the painting of the sun would be auctioned. Whoever bought the, the painting of the sun will inherit the entire estate. <laughs> including all of the paintings. Oh. The person who took the sun gets everything. Amen. God gave his son 2,000 years ago uh -huh. to die on a cruel cross. Amen. <laughs> Much like that today, isn't it? Oh, yes. Who will take the sun? Uh -huh. yes. right. No, we don't want the sun. Yes. Give us the world. Yes. Yes. Give us the paintings of the collection of the world. Yeah. We don't want the sun. Much like the auctioneer, his message today is the sun, the sun. We'll take the sun. Because you see, whoever takes the sun gets everything. Gets it all. Yeah. 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 I thought you were glory. I happen to know the soldier whose life was saved. I know him personally. He met the gardener who received the painting after he took the painting of the son to the father.
this is a real story. Right. This really happened. Oh, I know this soldier whose life was saved. This is not a make-believe. came from the Vietnam War. We have some Vietnam veterans here tonight. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it was a horrible conflict. Yes. A bloodbath of the earth. But look what came out of it for us tonight. Yes. A lesson about the sun. Isn't that beautiful? May God bless you. Uh, may God bless you. Yes. Praise God. Uh, we want to right go ahead, youth leaders. Uh, Brother Dean, take uh, the young people's event and youth leaders. And thank you, young people, for being patient while we had this overtime here with our reading. And I don't know what all God is going to do for us here tonight, but I do believe that He has many things to help us with. As I said, I could go down a line of thought readily, but I really want the Holy Ghost to lead, and everybody watch the Spirit, and uh, when you see the water is flowing, and let's don't let it sit idle, because you know, Brother Marlowe, I don't, I don't do that. Uh, I, uh, somebody, I, somebody told me I was at a house today, and they said, Brother Marlowe, we've been to your church several times, but sometimes everybody sits until you get up and throw some dynamite in the crowd. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's a fair assessment. Yes. I don't want to throw any dynamite tonight. I just want God to anoint his people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Will you pray with me right now? Lord, come down and anoint everyone. And you're sitting in that chair right now. Because there are people here that skipped supper, came straight here from work, came straight here from work to get fed in their soul and watch the spirit and if you're drilling a dry hole I was taught to step back when I was drilling a dry hole as long as there was wet water coming up keep drilling uh, but let's don't let the service just be like a ship without any wind in the sails we have a mighty God here tonight oh, yes. I felt authority take over Sister Ella here I believe that God has now taken authority in your life over this sickness and I'm going to proclaim the joy of the Lord Amen. In your life. Yes. I'm going to proclaim yes. healing, yes. blessing. Yes. I'm going to proclaim healing and blessing and victory, victory. in this church. Victory. Victory. If you want to say something, lift your hands and you'll get a mic to you. You can say something. Praise the name of the Lord. God is a good God all the time. Bless the name of the Lord. And everybody said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Get you a flame. It's back there in the back before you go home tonight. The latest edition of the flame. It's all over the United States. Hundreds of people receive it. You can get a copy in the back here tonight, the flame. May God feed your soul tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.